Hey everybody, my name is Total Nerd Status, and today I'm going to be counting down my top five favorite comic book movie costumes. And uh, I was actually inspired to make this video by another YouTuber who did the exact same thing. Um, his choices are different than mine, so if you want to check out his, uh, you know, his top five list, I'll have a link to that video in the description. Um, but let's get started with mine. So starting from number five, uh, I wanted to go with Iron Man because. Ever since the beginning, the Iron Man costume has looked so accurate to the comic books, and as you all probably know by now, I am not the biggest fan of Marvel, but I have to give credit where credit is due. The Iron Man costume has always looked so accurate to the comics, and it just looks really cool. I've always loved the dark red coloring and the gold on the mask. Uh, my favorite interpretation, however, is actually in Age of Ultron, even though I didn't I wasn't too fond of uh, the movie itself. The Iron Man costume, I thought, uh, had a great mix of not only red and gold, but how it kind of interpreted gold in random places around the armor rather than only on the mask with the rest of it being red. I thought it added a really nice uh, contrast to the suit, and again, it's so accurate to the comics, and it just jumps right off the comics uh, onto the, um, you know, big screen. Uh, my number four choice is the Spider-Man costume from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Everybody hated this movie, and I didn't actually think it was as bad as everyone said it was, but nonetheless, it was not the best Spider-Man movie, but in my opinion, it was indeed the best Spider-Man uh, costume that we've seen in a live-action film just because the colors of the suit the blue and the red were so vibrant and they got uh, the lining right instead of making it some weird uh, silver you know webbing around the suit it was black they used uh, black textures for the webbing and the logo itself wasn't kind of cut off into different sections in order to go around uh, the web texture of the suit it's just one solid black spider uh, spider logo and also the eyes it's just the eyes are right out of the comics they're just huge and they take up like a third of his face and they're just that really kind of wacky shape that has you know kind of a teardrop shape that comes to a perfect point and they're so big on the he <coughs> on the head that they're just super accurate to the comic and I loved this costume even if the movie wasn't too great. Uh, my next choice for number three is Deadpool. Now uh, we've all seen the Deadpool footage and it looks amazing. I can't wait for this movie. Again this is Marvel and Deadpool has always been a very interesting character even though he's extremely overrated by <laughs> uh, fans and uh, people in general, he's a really overrated character, but they did get his <clears throat> they did get his costume perfect. I mean, it's exactly the same as his character in the comic books, and they're even using CGI to move the eyes uh, so that the eyes kind of have that cartoony kind of look to them. But it's strange because they're 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 just moving the eyes as they do in the comic books to alter the uh, expressions of Deadpool without using, without making it look, you know, cartoony or anything, but they got the red and they got the black and they got even the little uh, Deadpool logo on his belt that looks really awesome and uh, the colors are just vibrant and he looks, he looks awesome and he's got all of his weapons and it's just, it's Deadpool, you know, it's not some weird looking guy from X-Men Origins Wolverine. I mean, this is Deadpool precisely. And uh, so my number two is actually from Batman vs. Superman. The first time we're seeing her on the big screen, it's Wonder Woman, of course. I mean, this costume, they put so much detail into this costume and it looks so accurate to the comic books while at the same time being their own interpretation because they still have they've kept so much of what is Wonder Woman like the red and the blue and I know in the uh, 
picture that Zack Snyder released, it looks really kind of toned down and the colors are muted, but if you look at the costume on display at Comic-Con, you can really see just how bright these colors are without being overwhelmingly uh, vibrant. And if you even look uh, on the sword and the shield, they have these ancient Greek symbols and I guess hieroglyphs, uh, I don't know if that's the correct word, but the costume, there's just so much detail that goes into it, and it looks so beautiful, and everything about this costume is perfect when it comes to this character. Now, before I reveal my uh, number one, I do want to make a few honorable mentions. First one being the Hulkbuster suit from Age of Ultron, because we've seen the Hulkbuster suit in uh, comics before, and I just loved their interpretation of it because, again, it's so accurate to the comics while at the same time being their own interpretation, and they're still keeping the meat of the Hulkbuster suit while adding kind of a modern uh, look to it that kind of fits more into this Iron Man that they've created. Second honorable mention is the Comedian from Watchmen. And I know Rorschach is uh, the other YouTuber's... Uh, one of the other YouTubers' choices, um, and I do love Rorschach's costume, but I think the Comedian is just my favorite costume, because, again, it's accurate to the comic books uh, of the Before Watchmen series, um, but at the same time, it just looks more kind of tactical than, uh, than someone like Rorschach, and uh, so I just, I love that costume, and uh, just what they did with it. Another honorable mention is the Armored Bat Suit from uh, Batman vs. Superman, the, the armored version, because it's straight out of the Dark Knight Returns, and again, they might have, uh, I mean, they did tweak a few things to make it more of a modern kind of tactical feel, but they really did keep like 95% accurate to the comic, and it looks amazing, and uh, they even brought in the white glowing eyes, so that, you know, that's a brilliant nod to all the Batman fans that we've been waiting for the white eyes for years and years now. My last honorable mention goes to the Superman costume, the modern Superman costume, uh, the Man of Steel costume, and also the costume that we're going to see in Batman vs. Superman. And uh, these costumes are basically the same. Um, really the only difference is that they change the lining uh, on, his, on his wrists as well as his waistline, and they also uh, kind of made his logo smaller than it was in Man of Steel and lowered it on the chest a little bit. But other than that, it looks like a modern-day Superman costume. They added a kind of uh, alien uh, design to it, like an alien chainmail uh, kind of design to the overall texture of the suit, but it's still red, it's still yellow, it's still blue, and it's vibrant and uh, it's, I mean, they, they got the cape, and it just, it looks like a comic-accurate Superman costume. The only thing is, it looks like a modern-day interpretation, and that's why it's an honorable mention, because it's not entirely comic-accurate. Now, getting back to the comic-accurate stuff, my number one spot is the newest Batman costume from Batman vs. Superman. Of course you had to know me being a Batman fan, this was going to be my number one spot, and let me explain why. It is precisely the exact same costume as The Dark Knight Returns in the fourth book, Hunt the Dark Knight. Or in the uh, third book, sorry. And um, I have some pictures here. Here's a statue that someone made of Batman and Joker in the uh, from that book. And if you just compare the the ears and the logo and the belt and just everything about this costume, it's so precisely accurate. And this has to be the most comic accurate costume that we've seen on the big screen. And uh, they just got everything right. They even made it look like he was uh, an older, kind of war-torn, more veteran-style Batman by adding, like, scratches and pieces of the suit that have been uh, torn apart and sewn back together, and even in this shot where Ben Affleck is in the suit standing next to Zack Snyder, if you look at the logo, he has bullet holes, or more bullet dents, in the logo itself, like he's been shot at and the, the suit is, is taking damage, and not to mention, this is the first time we'll see a Batman suit that is black and gray rather than all black, 
and it's so comic accurate, it is so precise, and it is so beautiful, and they did it perfectly. Just every single thing about this suit is comic accurate and beautiful, and just perfect altogether. So that's my top five list. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree with me. And uh, like I said, I have the I'll have the link to the other guy's uh, top five list in the description below. So definitely go and check his out. And uh, let me know what you think. In the meantime, I will talk to you guys next time.